So on Friday, we learned some patterns with repeating decimals. We learned that any repeating decimal where there's only one digit repeating, the, fra the equivalent fraction has a nine as a denominator. If we have a repeating decimal where two digits are repeating, the denominator has 99. And if we have a repeating decimal where there are three digits repeating, the denominator is 999. But today, we had some more repeating decimals that didn't follow this simple pattern. For example, 0.26, where just the 6 is repeating. Notice in this case, if it was both the 2 and the 6 repeating, it'd be pretty simple. It'd be 26 99ths, because there's two digits repeating. But only one digit's repeating, and the 2 is not. So that makes things a little bit difficult. But I showed you a trick on how to turn this into a fraction. And it's all based off of the patterns we learned last time. So the first thing we did was we looked at this and decided because the two is there in respect to the decimal, we can't quickly change it into a fraction. But if we move that decimal over one space, we'd have a lot easier time. This would be equal to, if we move the decimal over, 2.6 repeating, and that we could change into a fraction pretty easily. But unfortunately, it's not equal to that. However, we can use a little math to set these two sides equal to each other. 2.6 repeating divided by 10 equals 0.26, which is the 6 repeating. And by making this repeating decimal into this side, we can actually convert this all into one big fraction. For example, 2.6 repeating is 2 and 6 ninths. And I'm going to drop down the divide by 10. Now, before I can divide, I need to make this an improper fraction. So 2 and 6 ninths, 2 times 9 is 18, plus 6 is 24. So this whole thing is 24 ninths. Drop down the divide by 10. Now. When we divide fractions, we keep the first one the same and multiply the second one flipped over. Now this is really 10 over 1. So if I flip this over, this is times 1 tenth. So to get my answer, top times top, bottom times bottom, 24 ninetieths. And I should reduce this because I know 2496 goes into the top and bottom. So this is really 4 fifteenths. And if you're not sure, you can always check with a calculator. 4, four divided by 15? It should be 0.266666666. And it is. So the key to this whole thing is really taking your repeating decimal and dividing it by something so that it'll turn into a repeating decimal that we can easily convert into a fraction. We'll do one more example. Okay, This time, slightly harder one here, 0.291 where just the 9 and the 1 are repeating. All right, so imagine moving that decimal over one place. Then it'd be a lot easier to work with. 2.91 repeating. So this we could easily convert into a fraction. The original one we couldn't because the 2 isn't repeating. So I know 2.91 with the 9 one repeating divided by 10 equals 0.291. So now if I simplify this side, I should be able to get my fraction. 2.91 repeating is 2 and 91 99ths. Drop down the divided by 10. This is a mixed number. I need improper. So 2 times 99 plus 91, 289, 99ths. Drop down the divide by 10. Now, we're dividing fractions, so we keep the first fraction the same. And we multiply by the second fraction flipped over. And... Now I can get my answer, top times top, bottom times bottom. And this cannot be reduced, 
So that is my answer. 289 over 990. And if I want to double check, 289 divided by 990, I should get 0 0.291919191 repeating. And look, I do, 2919191 repeating. So really the key to this whole, whole strategy is to take your original decimal, divide it by 10, so we make it into an easier decimal to convert, and then simplify it down into a single fraction, and then you'll have the fraction equivalents.